What's up guys? I am at Stop and Shop in their candy aisle looking for M&M's. Uh, not to review them, but for our next video. There you go. Uh, video on focusing plane. So let's pick up. Nah, that's too big. I think they should do it. I just have to spread them out. Two for six, three dollars for this. All right, so I am back from Stop and Shop. Yes, I lost my head over there. Um, we're going to talk about focus plane, focus, uh, focusing plane. All right. So first of all, look at my T-shirt here. You have these small squares here, right? And you see this in your viewfinder. Okay. Well, these are 51 focal points. You may not have 51. You may have 15, 39. You know, depends on what camera you have. Anyway, well, your camera should be set on AFS, which is your autofocus single. You take one single square and you can move that square around in the frame wherever you want, okay, to focus on a specific thing. So in this case, let's say we're going to focus on the middle part here, okay. So these two pens, they're going to represent your um, focus plane, okay. So closest to the lens, this is my starting focus plane and this is my end focus plane. All right, so start, end. Anything that's in the middle is going to be in focus. Remember, your square is right here, and this is your focus plane, okay? And focus plane is flat, okay? Um, the only way to change that, if you're using a tilt shift cam uh, lens, like uh, one of those PC lens for perspective control, but we're not going to get into that right now. Anyway, so this is in focus, this is going to be out of focus, this is going to be out of focus. Now, you throw another person right here, even though this square thing is on this person, this is also going to be in focus. And this person is also going to be in focus. Now, if I were doing a photograph, if I were taking a picture of, let's say, three people like that, I would focus in the middle. Use that square point. Okay? Now, so how does this help you? Well, um, if you're doing group photos, you need to understand your, your, your focal plane, your focus plane. Because if you don't group them the right way, one person could be blurry. Okay? So, I'll give you an example. Ever, have you ever seen a picture of a uh, bride and groom, let's say this is bride and groom, and you have best man and your bride maid behind them. This group here is going to be blurry. Bride and groom, they're going to be in, in, in sharp focus. Why? Because that's where you focused it, and this, this becomes your focal plane. Okay, now if you're doing a group photo, if you're doing a group photo, I, I don't know if you're gonna get the, if you can see the right angle or not. There are, let's say, three people. You focus right here. This guy is right next to this person. Same focal plane, but this third person is few inches behind these two people, behind uh, the other two people, right? So this guy is going to be out of focus because it's not falling on the same focus plane. So how you increase and decrease your, your, your focus plane? Well, you, you can pick smaller aperture, which means bigger aperture value, okay? F8, F you know, 10, again, lighting, it depends on the lighting situation. But that basically will get you bigger area in focus. But I don't take any chances. When I, whenever I'm doing group photos, I try to make sure that they are as close as possible, okay? You're gonna have this problem if one guy is this tall and the other guy is this tall, right? 
So you focus here. Now this is your focal focus plane. This guy is going to be blurry. And if you focus on this guy, the, then this is your focus plane, right? This area here. And this guy is going to be blurry. So, you know, you pick a bigger aperture uh, value to get sharper, sharper image. All right, so here's the setup I have. I got the M&Ms on a white plate, camera on a tripod, so just in case if I'm getting slow shutter speed uh, when I take, when I use like F14, um, everything is all, you know, stable. So here is our first picture in portrait style. All right, so I focus right in the middle and I use that single focal point. Now even though the focus was on that one little point, that one little square, but you can see whatever that's falling within that focal plane, the some of the other M&Ms are also in focus. I believe my focus was on the brown M&M right in the middle versus M. But you know, some of the other M&Ms um, in that plane, in that line is also in focus. Anything that's outside the focal plane is all blurry. All right. Next picture is in landscape and here same thing focus right in the middle on that green M&M and whatever that's uh within that focal plane you could you could see that that horizontal focal plane um where the M&Ms are in focus and anything that's falling outside the focal plane is out of focus. All right? Next picture, this was shot a while back. It's a good example. Um, I f this was obviously, the, there's no mid focal point here. The, f the, the focal point was towards the bottom, and I focused on the, the shoe, the smaller, the first shoe that you see. All right, now notice how some of the stones and some of the pebbles are also in focus, okay? Why? Because they fell in that focal plane. Now look to your right even though there's no small shoe on the right side but the stones or little pebbles are some of them are still in focus simply because it was on the same focal plane and as soon as the stone gets out of the rest of the stones get they get out of the the focal plane it's all blurry Okay, so another important tip is tip is that if you the more you zoom in, the shallower the depth of field um, is going to be, and the more the subject is further away from your lens, the larger, the greater the depth of field is going to be. So you'll have a slightly larger focal plane um, when you're using when you're sort of zoomed out and you know you're using f8, f10, f14, things like that. So there's going to be a second part of this video where I'll go over some of the same things um, but it's just going to be more in-depth and I'm going to use you know Danny and probably my wife and see whoever um, I can find who wants to participate in the video. Alright so until next time keep clicking.